Hello again. Today is March 3rd. We are reading in the New Testament, of course, and uh, reading the book of Mark, chapter 8, 1 through 21. And here it says, In those days when there was again a large crowd and they had nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples and said to them, I feel compassion for the people because they have remained with me now three days and have have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their <clears throat> excuse me homes, they will faint on the way, and some of them have come from a great distance. And his disciples answered him, Where will anyone be able to find enough bread here in this desolate place to satisfy these people? And he was asking them, How many loaves do you have? And they said seven, and he directed the people to sit down on the ground, and taking the seven loaves, he gave thanks and broke them, and started giving them to his disciples to serve to them, and they served them to the people. They also had a few small fish, and after he had blessed them, he ordered these to be served as well, and they ate and were satisfied, and they picked up seven large baskets full of what was left over of the broken pieces. After 4,000 were were there, about 4,000 were there, and he sent them away. And immediately he entered the boat with his disciples and came to the district of Dalmanutha. So, just again, that was another miracle that was witnessed by more than 4,000 people. Um, And, you know, this again is history. So, continuing on, verse 14, it says, And they had, no, verse 11, The Pharisees came out and began to argue with him, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. Sighing deeply in his spirit, he said, Why does this generation seek for a sign? Truly I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Leaving them, he again embarked and went away to the other side, and they had gotten to take bread they had forgotten to take bread and did not have more than one loaf in the boat with them and he was giving orders to them saying watch out beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of the Herod they began to discuss with one another the fact that they had no bread and Jesus aware of this said to them why do you discuss the fact that you have no bread do you not see or understand do you Have a hardened heart. Having eyes do you not see. And having ears do you not hear. And do you not remember. When I broke the five loaves. For the five thousand. How many baskets full of broken pieces. You picked up. They said to him twelve. When I broke the seven. For the four thousand. How many large baskets full of broken pieces. Did you pick up. And they said to him seven. And he was saying to them. Do you not yet understand? So anyway, um, they focused on the physical thing when Jesus was speaking of uh, the spiritual side of things when he was saying uh, the leaven of the Pharisees and the Herod. The leaven is what they have added to the word of God to fluff it up and make it uh, not what it was was intended to be for the people of Israel. So that's why Jesus always warns, be, be, uh, what is it? Be aware of the leaven of the Pharisees, Sadducees, Herodians, whatever. So um, anyway, uh, that is it. Thank you. God bless and hope to see you soon.